Greetings, everyone. Fellow Brother Palavans. And Brother Palavans, the Facebook group, International Brotherhood of Palavans. My name is James P. Madonna, and here I am in my backyard in Lodi, Bergen County, New Jersey. Uh, also the location of a new breed uh, uh, fitness center. Daniel and his wife run it. Very highly qualified people, to say the least. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here because we have a very special guest, the return. That's right, the second time, the return of circular strength training natural athlete, kettlebell athlete, competition kettlebell, and powerlifter, the one and only from Boston, Massachusetts, now residing in New Brunswick, Canada, Maritime Province, Mr. Jeff Sambello. Jeff, <laughs> welcome back, brother. Excuse me, you know, I know Jackie Gleason used to bring the mug of coffee when he did the show in Miami, so... All right. Very happy to be back in America. See, he's got his paratrooper. President Reagan, 1986. He's got his paratrooper, a pin on. His son Mikey, come say hi. Because this is going to be on YouTube. Prince Ed, says Prince Edward Island. Just stare at the camera and say hi, I'm Mikey. Hi, Marcus Love. Mikey and Jeff Zambello is here. Now, unfortunately, because I had a hernia procedure, my, my last one, the second one, I can't work out until after six weeks. But luckily, I can play my African djembe drum while Mr. Jeff Zambello does some circular training for you and swings some clubs, okay? I just want to say that he gave me a wonderful gift. It was very touching because it's been a, a really a horrible year for me, 2018, nothing but bad events happening, but you know what, this is a good event, because he's back here in New Jersey, in Lodi, New Jersey, for the second time. He had his competition in Greenwich, Connecticut yesterday, October 27th, today's October 28th. Norwalk. Yeah, no, the Wilton, Norwalk, that guy's been. Wilton, right, right near, right near. Uh, in other words, if you order a salad in Wilton, it kind of the lettuce wilts. Is that why they call it Wilton? Well, if if a pretty girl's around, something that won't be wilted. In other words, something will be boing. Yeah. And now I know a lot, <laughs> a lot of you stuff shirts in uh, in the uh, fitness industry. A lot of your highfalutin, snooty uh, fitness gurus are not too keen on a sense of humor, but we don't care. Well, they can sign off, we don't... Yeah, yeah, they don't have to watch it, but I'm just saying, fast. you know, we're big on a sense of humor. Yeah. Now, how did, how did it go before uh, we... It went very well. I sustained an injury last March. I was training for the Kettlebell Marathon right. and the Kettlebell Half Marathon, the 30-minute right. and the 60-minute event, and I was doing the half snatch, but uh, 300 plus repetitions yeah, come every me. other day was just too much for my shoulder but through um, uh, oh, uh, Persian meals and and, um, and, and safe circular and training. training safe circular Talk training by Daniel at uh, uh, New Breed Fitness with the mace bells and I say mace bell not mace because they're mace bells um, and, and throwing the ego yeah. out the front door, it, it healed. So thank God all my... Well, so, um, well the, mace, the mace bell, I have to tell everyone else that out there, is a registered trademark of a Torque Athletic, I think. Yeah, Circular Torque Training. Yeah, but, but, but a lot of people worldwide uh, have adopted... A, Ado adopted the word mace bell and use it freely, which which people know what it is, uh, that are that are knowledgeable about circular training and Indian clubs and Persian meals and the mace. But those that are total neophytes that know nothing about circular training, it's easy to say mace bell because right away the average jabroni thinks about barbell, dumbbell. You know, things like that. Well, if I may elaborate, Liberty Bell. There's, there's three di distinctions. There's the gata, 
which we pay homage to the ancients. Okay? Because if it wasn't for those people, we all wouldn't be here today do, this, having this discussion. That's right. Even, there, even though there are people out there making money today off of circular strength training that do not care about the history of circular strength training, we care about the history and tradition and we pay homage to the God of Power, Hanuman, to the Akaras of India, and to the Zirkanes of Iran. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Kashi Azad, a true ambassador, to say the least, in circular strength training. Persian yoga extraordinaire. Right. And Paul Terrace Walkowinski of Perth, Australia. Kashi Azad, I believe, is in Sydney. And then... Uh, uh, Mr. Mace Man, uh, Rick Brown, who is going to be in Austin, Texas soon. I don't know exactly when, because I'm supposed to go live with him when he goes to the, uh, the famous uh, barbecue restaurant called the Salt Lake. Actually, there's two restaurants he's going to go to. So that should be interesting. He'll be there with uh, Eric Doyle of the uh, Long Beach uh, Kettlebell Club in Long Beach, California. Uh, who else? Uh, um, oh, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Pratye Singh, who was the guide for Paul Terrace Walkowinski when he went to the uh, Cobra Snake Festival in Varanasi, India, near the Ganges River. That's right, the Holy River. And, uh, you know, he, he really showed Paul Terrace Walkowinski around, and I, I thank him for doing that when Paul used to do the Indian Club World Tours, and Paul was in this very backyard, as well as doing a show with me, and I remember those days. It might have been his first or second Indian Club World Tour. But anyway, that's the past, and now circular strength training has evolved tremendously with many experts, gurus, eh, quote-unquote. As long as they stay humble, and they're not in it just for the money, and they pay respect to the history and tradition of circular strength training, which some of them do not. I just want to say, no names mentioned. And then there's a second aspect. So the first one's the gata, and then the second is the mace. And that's what I competed in yesterday, and that's the sport. And uh, uh, there's many great people that practice that every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, such as our William Calvani from uh, Bud Lake, New Jersey, uh, and Charlottesville, I think Charlottesville, uh, Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, he, um, Rick Brown, he's a great teacher in, in, right. in the Mace. Jeff Butterworth of, uh, of, New, of Boston area. Yep. And then, um, then the third um, um, aspect of this is the Mace Bell, which is taught by Daniel Ramsey. Uh, of Lodi, New Jersey, oh, that's at Loop Breed Fitness. Okay. Now he knows Daniel, Daniel Ramsey, look him up on Facebook with right. Loop Fitness. And, and that's the mace ball. So it's it's properly called the mace ball because we train, we train on club bells, mace bells, all kinds of circular stuff. And so that's a whole other right. different discipline. <coughs> New, and, movement, and, and there's three planes of movement. Sagittal plane, frontal plane, and transverse plane. So, anyways, uh, so and and then uh, uh, from ado, Fantasy Island, the plane. So, as the guy said, you know. Anyway, he, he committed suicide and videotaped the suicide. But anyway, I dig, I digress. I don't know why he committed suicide. The guy had more money. Yeah. Than well, he was he was, he was he was a little person. Anyway, I digress. Uh, yeah, uh, New Breed Fitness is Garibaldi Avenue, Lodi, New Jersey. Daniel Ramsey, but we will be seeing him, most likely. This, this afternoon. This afternoon. Now, I'm going to go start playing my drum. Um, but first, I want to present my friend, um, my brother, not my friend. He's my brother, um, James Fimadon, with an early Christmas gift. Um, I am very touched. This is my, my early Christmas present, the, an official Paul Terrace Wokowinski signature, signature series. series. Indian Clubs, there's a logo, made by Rosewater Kinetics from Idaho. A, a very nice. Uh, so that's a warm up meal. That's why I gave James a single because I kept the other one. And James has a wonderful set from the fellow in Texas. He's got eight pounds. Oh, uh, oh is it 12 pounds or eight pounds? 12 pounds. pounds. Uh, Christian Dars of uh, 
<clears throat> revolutionclubs.net, I have a pair of eight plants yeah. which are exact replica of the ones from Iran that Richard Army McGuire has in Redondo Beach, California from a Zirconi. I have the exact replicas and then also from uh, Christian Dars of, of uh, <clears throat> uh, Houston, Texas of revolutionclubs.net, I have a, an eight pound pair of cone shaped, conical shaped Persian meals. Now, so we're going to go through some warm ups okay. I, so I, James I, eventually yeah. can go through yeah. his pairs. And then I use these light, these yeah. light meals to, so I can start my heavy yeah. kettlebells or my heavy mace training. Oh, don't forget to get another one so you end up with, with two. No, I don't like double meals uh, for my shoulders. Um, my shoulders are, let's just say, I'm blessed to be able to yeah. do what I do. And Persian meal training is not for a, um, a heavy guy like me. Now, Ken Thiessen, he's bigger than me, yeah. <laughs> but I'm 224 no. pounds and 54 years old. And um, I still do powerlifting, but I use these yeah. for my sport. Other people can do doubles and do what they want, but that's not for me. Now, I have a bad, I've had a very bad uh, right shoulder for many years. And what I, how I rehabilitated it, I don't feel any discomfort or pain. When, when you do it like the, the, uh, the Persians, the Iranians do it in the Zirconi, you won't have any pain. And that is keep it close. Like to the chest, close to the body, and and cast around the shoulder. Not over your head. Not around the head. No way. Close to the body, chest chest level. Cast around the shoulder, and then you can do reverse. You yep. know, inward and outward. And I had no problems. So, so anyways, Mikey, okay, I'm going to start seat. with the drum. And um, all right, go sit down, relax. And move, days, Jack. Go put. Jay's jacket on your lap. And that's gotta start with some simple stuff that I do every morning at six six o'clock. I train every other day this day of the calendar. So um, anyways, um, just to loosen up the shoulders. It's different than um the, the club the club bells. Um, because these are heavier. So you go this way.
have an orgasm. Spend their husband's um, inheritance trust fund money. Yeah, they get they they, they they usually employ cabana boys to help them. They rub their back. Pool boys. Okay, and then we do the thing again with okay. the Persian meal. A little Middle Eastern style. Like this. Again, not over the head like James said. Yes. There's some people who teach over the head, but that's very dangerous for the clientele. Okay. I, I, this is in honor of so the more sheds of the Zirkane in movement. Iran. They, nice they and do it smooth. from the side. Lift those elbows up. Pull 
pull it in. And then we go the other way, hey, folks. Respect the weight. Open up the rotator cuffs. And you'll lift weights longer than Jack Lloyd. shoulder and rotator cuff orgasm. <laughs> all the synovial fluid is dripping all over James's lawn. And that's a lifetime of health. I'll be a hundred years old doing this. That's it. That's our warm session. If you want to do this, His shoulder injury showed yeah. a horseshoe crab. See, those a horse a horse kicked me at a the racetrack. Okay, that, re, that's he, that's 53 years old right there, going he, on 54. He rehabilitated his shoulder, and he did it himself by totally changing his fitness method to a more sensible, drug-free, drug-free, safe method, which will give him fitness longevity far into his golden years. Where, meanwhile, all the other uh, athletes that were concentrating on their ego only uh, to try to lift heavy and break records, their golden years will only consist of their urine. Meanwhile, yours will truly be golden. Yeah, but I'll be getting golden showers from all the Asian girls. Now, if you, now, if you, there's, there's if, a little Korean club down the street. If you there? were. There's, a, there's tons oh, okay. of Okay, we won't mention that. If you flew, we'll keep it clean. If you flew to Beijing yeah. and, uh, and uh, um, uh, worked out on the Great Wall of China, uh, there will be uh, many uh, young, young ladies massaging your back, trying to, trying to yes, but at the, loosen your scapula. Yes, deep finger massage. Uh, yes. With hot oils. Yes, with ginger oil, which is very popular in Asia. <laughs> ginger oil. Not Ginger Grant from, from uh, Gilligan's Island, but anyway. But I digress. You, I digress. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That was a lot of fun. <laughs>